Let's look at a few examples with uh, transient uh, analysis. Here we have a circuit with a DC source of 12 volts, a resistor 12 ohm, 12 ohm, 12 ohm, and a capacitor 1 sixth uh, of a farad. We'll assume that the switch has been closed for a long time, so that means the voltage across this switch is closed, so the capacitor has had enough time to charge up and has reached DC steady state. So at time t equals zero, we'll open the switch and then try to figure out what the voltage across the capacitor is as it discharges over these two resistors. So for this, we're going to need to figure out what the voltage across the capacitor is when we first start at t equals zero. Now, to do that, let's look at a scenario where the switch was closed for a long time. So the switch has been closed for a long time right here. In that case, because of DC steady state analysis, the capacitor acts as an open circuit. So the voltage across the capacitor is the voltage VAB, so VAB, and that is equal to the voltage across these two resistors. Since both of these resistors are 12 ohm each, the total resistance there is 12 by 12 divided by 12 plus 12, so which is going to be equal to 6 ohms. So the total resistance in the circuit is equal to 6 ohms. So the voltage across AB is 6 divided by voltage divider 6 plus the 12 ohm. That's the 12 ohm resistor right here times the input voltage which is 12. So 6 over 18. 6 over 18 times 12. Therefore voltage AB is equal to 6, 3, 4 volts. So initially when the capacitor is uh, has reached steady state, the voltage across the capacitor is 4 volts. So at t equals 0, so voltage of the capacitor at t equals 0 is equal to 4 volts. Okay. Now our switch is then open, so this is open. So what we'll get is this thing is open right here. This switch is going to be open. Uh, that means this DC voltage source and this resistor go away and our circuit is looks like this. So in this case we have the, the voltage of the capacitor at t equals 0 is equal to 4 volts. Okay? Now the capacitor we saw just a second ago that these is equal to 6 ohm. So we have a total of 6 ohm resistor equivalent resistor 6 ohms. Capacitor is 1 sixth of a farad. So that means the time period tau is equal to R equivalent times C which is 6 times 1 sixth. 1 sixth equals 1 second. So we have 1 second uh, tau. Now using the voltage across the capacitor expression we have the voltage of the capacitor at time equals infinity plus the difference between what is at zero capacitor at zero minus what the voltage is at infinity e to the power minus t over tau in our case okay so let's see when the switch is open this is a circuit and the voltage across the capacitor there's started out at 4 volts, but as the time passes on, when we reach at about 5 tau, uh, the circuit is going to reach steady state, and the voltage is the charge in the capacitor that's stored is completely going to deplete. So the voltage across the capacitor at that point, in the long run, at infinity, is going to be equal to 0 volts. So Vc at infinity is going to be equal to 0 volts. So let's plug that value in. So we have 0 plus 4 minus 0 e to the power of minus t over tau which is 1 so we have 4 e to the power of minus t uh, volts 
as being voltage across the capacitor. So this is the voltage across the capacitor. 